Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. Today, I'm here to bring you guys another game review. A game review. Oh, yeah. And today, I am here to bring you guys a game review of a game called Room Kaboom. Now, before I get into this review, I do have to ask you guys all a big favor. Please, if you haven't already, do subscribe. That it keeps the channel growing, it keeps you guys up to date with what is going on daily on Mumbles. And it's just, I just love to have you guys back every each and every day. It just, it puts a smile on my face. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Room Kaboom. Now Room Kaboom is available on multiple systems first off. Today's game review is based on the PlayStation 4 version. But this game also can be played in VR. So it is also, in addition to being available on PlayStation 4, available on Steam, PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, and the HTC Vive. Now, this game does not have to be played in VR. I didn't play it in VR, because I don't have VR. So there is a standard game available. Now you can pick this game up for $19.99 on the PlayStation 4 store. Or, you, if you want to just try the game, you can download the Steam edition for free, just the standard edition for free. Give it a try, decide if you want to buy it, and you can go that route if you want to. What is Room Kaboom about? Basically, this is a Twisted Metal inspired vehicle combat card based game. Wow, Mumble, say that three times fast. I know, guys, but work with me. It's not that complicated. Basically, how this game works is this you play as a player, there's a player on the other side of the map. You are given cards, which are randomly drawn, and as you get these cards, you send the vehicles that you get out after your enemy's base. Now, you have two on your side usually, and they have two buildings on their side usually. Now, basically, the goal of this game is very simple. Destroy your enemy's base. That's all there is to it, but you also have to worry about your own base. So as you're both sending cars at each other, you have strategy whether you want to try to avoid them, take them out. There's a strategy to this, and that is basically what Room Kaboom is. Now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, graphics in this game, they're not the greatest in the world. They're not the worst in the world. Uh, they're not, you know, you're not going to have your HD or anything like that. They're solid. They're passable for a card game. And definitely just okay. Soundtrack wise, this game is one of my favorite terms. It's got it's got that favorite term of mine. Gaming elevator music. Now this game contains music that is just kind of there to keep you into the game. So it's nothing that you're gonna be like walking down the street whistling. Oh, I learned to see this music on Vroom Kaboom. Do do do. No 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 no. After you play, you probably won't even know what the soundtrack was. But it is good solid music for what it is. Now, control-wise, this game on the PlayStation 4 just uses the controller, and I have to say, and I'm going to talk about more about this in the con section, but I have to say, controlling your vehicle is a little awkward, but for the most part, there's the controls are easy to pick up, use right away, and you'll be able to basically understand them within 5 to 10 minutes of, using, of playing this game. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. As I said, this is a card-based game, so how does it work? It's this simple, guys. Basically... You take the role of a player as I, okay. So as I said, okay, now let's talk about the gameplay. Now as I said, this is a card building. Okay, now let's talk about the gameplay. Vroom Kaboom is very much a strategy type game with vehicle combat in it. Basically, at the start of the game, you're given so many cards. Now, you can play different cards based on the resources you have. There is two different types of resources, gasoline and fire. Based on these resources, you can basically spawn different cars based on the cards that you have in your hand. So, to simplify this, let me put it this way. Okay. Now, okay. Now let's talk about the gameplay in Room Kaboom. As I said, this is a strategy game with car combat in it. So. There's a big influence of strategy here. So basically how this game works is this, and I'm going to try my very best to explain this in as simple terms as I can. It goes like this. You are given so many cards at the beginning. You are given so much resources of both fire and gasoline at the beginning. Now these cards either have a cost of fire or gasoline. 
So for example, one card may have a two gasoline symbol in the corner. That means you have to spend two of your resources of gasoline in order to spawn that car and send it after the enemy. So you have to manage your resources correctly. Now, the cool thing about it is the resources are actually placed on the map. So if you run out at any time, you can spawn like a little scooter and go pick up more resources. And you can also recycle your cards. So let's say you're given a card that you don't like. You can recycle whatever it's worth and it can go towards giving you more resources. So two cool features that help you keep your resources up. So that's really all there is to the deck slash strategy thing. And as you spawn each vehicle, you're gonna see that they have different things they can do. Some can ram other vehicles or the actual objective. Some can shoot the other vehicles or the actual objective. Some can use a shockwave. Some can just collect resources and that is all the strategy that is built into this game. It's basically a balancing act of what cards do I want to send out when? When do I want to defend? Oh, the enemy's sending a tank. I better make sure that I get some people on that because that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he's just sending out motorcycles. Not a big deal. That's not going to do a lot of damage. I'm just going to go for the objective. So you can see where the strategy comes to pl into play for this game. The final thing in the gameplay section that I did want to mention is there are different types of deck. And basically all that means is you can change the scenery in this game based on which deck you use. There's like a sand one and a city one and one other one. And basically, like I said, there's a few different cards. But for the most part, that's all that really is. It's just cosmetic. Now that we talked about the gameplay, let's talk about the cons of this game. The first con that I have, that I've already mentioned, is the actual vehicle steering. This game kind of controls funky. And I think that it do does that because this game was made for VR. So I think they wanted to make the steering more geared towards VR. So I'm not going to give it a huge downgrading for that. But it is still a con nonetheless. The vehicle steering is all kinds of funky. Now... The second con that I have is replayability slash repetitiveness. This game is super repetitive. Yes, you can build decks and do that kind of stuff, but once you get it done, there's not a lot to do here. Yes, you can go online and play, but for the most part, you're not gonna find a lot of online players. And really, the single player, once you're done with it, not a lot to do here. So a lot of repetitiveness, a lot of that kind of stuff going on in this game. So with all that in mind, the only thing left to ask is what is this game going to get on our Mumbles review? Vroom Kaboom! I have to say that I believe that this game was way more geared towards VR than it was to be a standalone PlayStation 4 game. So please know that I'm just grading this based on the PlayStation 4 version. I think that the actual VR version could be super cool in this game. And actually, I think that based on if whether or not the steering is better, which I'm assuming in VR it is because, you know, in VR you have to be on point with your controls. I'm assuming that a lot of the, the score is going to go up in VR. But with that being said, for the PlayStation 4 version, I got to give this game only a 6 out of 10. It's still a very cool game, a very cool concept. I love it. I just want more from it. I want more cards. I want more story. I want more combat. I want more better controls. I want more, 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 more. But with that being said, for a VR game, if I was playing this in VR, I would love this game. I would probably give this game a seven in a, if it was just a VR game, if I was playing this in VR, because of how it would put you in the game, how the controls would be better, and just how things would go in it. So definitely a six out of 10 for the PlayStation 4 version, but in VR would definitely bump that up to seven out of 10. So yeah, guys, that's my review of Room Kaboom. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.